The museum houses the oldest worked gold in the world. The artifacts are over 6,000 years old. They were produced by artisans from a civilization which lived in the area between 4,400 and 4,100 BC. The historians call this civilization the Varna culture. It is believed to have been the first civilization on the European continent, or at least the oldest we know of. The golden artifacts in the Varna culture necropolis were discovered by accident during excavations near the port of Varna. A total of 294 graves from the Chalcolithic period of the Copper Age were found on an area of 7,500 square meters. Some of them proved to be of key importance to world archaeology and history. Excavation works on the necropolis went on for over 15 years. Some of the graves were extremely rich in gold artifacts. This is evidence that during this early stage of history, when humanity was only just beginning to master metallurgy, the Varna culture already had a developed hierarchical society and an emerging monarchy institution. The most copious burial site is known as Grave 43. 990 golden artifacts were found inside, weighing over one and a half kilos. The body is that of a 1.7 meter tall man, a giant of the time. These golden hammers were actually used as scepters, as symbols of power. The man buried here was a king or a priest, probably both. There are two types of graves with gold artifacts in them, those with a skeleton inside and symbolic graves, those that did not contain a skeleton. This is a clear indication that the ancient inhabitants of the Varna region had a very strict system of communicating with the afterlife, what we call religion today. This is a stator, a type of coin from the town of Kizik. It was minted from electrum, an extremely rare alloy of gold and silver that can be produced artificially, but also occurs sometimes naturally.